I'm going to show you the most popular way to hack a website where you can steal private information, hijack accounts, take over web pages, and do other illegal things to get you thrown in jail. Hold on, this video is just for educational purpose, so here, no crime is going on. And you have to promise me that you will use this information for good and not for evil. So whenever you are ready, this is the flying lesson for the basics of cross-site scripting. Hello world, I am a hacker and it's really nice to have you on board. In this video, we will look at cross-site scripting. Well, cross-site scripting or XSS is a security vulnerability in a web application that allows evil hacker to inject their own code inside a web page. Yup, that's right. With the power of scripting, cyber criminals can use your web application to steal passwords, install malwares, or do worse. The main components for cross-site scripting is HTML tags, JavaScript functions, JavaScript numbers, and JavaScript strings. The first step in cross-site scripting is to inject the script element into a web page now, web pages are built using HTML, which uses tags to create elements. And there are a lot of them, as you can see them on your screen. So let's get started by injecting some JavaScript in HTML page. You can find the sample code for this page by coming over to my GitHub repository and coming over to the random password generator. I have just amended uh, quite a few things in it, but you can just get the sample code from right over here. I will also create a separate repository for the cross-site scripting. So from there, you can also get the code. But what I did was uh, in previous video, whose link would be in the right top corner, uh, you can just click on it and find out. In the previous video, we created this page for creating or generating a random password generator. What I did was, I just took that page and made some amendments. Anyway, you can find, by the time I upload this video, you can find a separate read, separate re Git repository for the cross-site scripting, as well as you can download the code from this password generator as well. Coming back towards our page and testing out the cross-site scripting. So whenever you are ready, Let's get started with the XSS vulnerability. Till then, you can pause this video, download your code, practice with it, and stuff like that. But if you're ready, let's get started. You can see that when I type something in this, in this text field, it just gets rendered on the page. So that's a good thing, you know, but the problem with it is that if I add more HTML, what do you think would happen? I can add some more HTML by typing less than tag and inside that I can write P and then write another less than si sign and then a slash and then a P. So if I write something inside here and then click on update, you would see that that would get rendered. But with that, the HTML tags would also get rendered. And, and that's why you can see the text that, that was inserted to the page uh, move towards the next line or to a separate paragraph. So th that is the problem now. Anyone can come over here and they can add this uh, HTML tags in our text box. Like the way we injected HTML tags in the page, in the similar manner, we can inject the script tags as well. Well, this is simple, but this is very, very popular as well because JavaScript control the web page. And if you can inject a script element instead of HTML, you have now the complete control over that page and a complete control over what happens in the browser. And this is how the XSS works. Now I will go ahead and insert some scripts right over here in the input box. So I can do that by writing script and then write slash script and close this. Now for the content that goes inside, this is my friend where we enter the world, wonderful world of JavaScript. JavaScript can be confusing at times, but what it does exceptionally well is letting you hack website. Am I making YouTube uncomfortable? Well, let's just change the statement. Well, JavaScript can be exceptionally well making websites more interactive by performing actions in JavaScript, like any other programming language, where you just call a function. You can do this by typing in the name of the function followed by parentheses. 
and anything goes inside the parentheses gets passed as argument right now just try calling alert function within your script so i'll come over here and write alert if you don't know what alert is or how it works you can just google it but just to give you an introduction it just alerts something on your face so if i type in alert and then click the update button watch your script execute because you see this alert pop up that means your script was injected in the page successfully and ran due to XSS vulnerability. While you are at it, just get some practice with the argument as well. So let's just type in the same thing, which was script and script, and then alert. And inside that I can say one. And then click on update button. And you will see that it will alert one or the pass or whatever you have passed surrounding it with single or double quote to make it a string and you can also alert something that you really love so i love hacking so i will alert hacking and press enter you would see that it will just alert hacking to me so to end everything alerting is the most common function used by both criminals and cybersecurity researchers to find vulnerabilities in the website now keep in mind that a placeholder for data script can be injected and once the vulnerability has found, an attacker can easily replace this with a malicious exploit. That causes much more damage than what we have seen right now. Consider something simple instead um, of alerting something. Why not let's just destroy the entire HTML page. So what I can do right over here is that I can write the same thing as script and then again script for closing and what I can do is I can write document dot body dot inner HTML and let's just make it equal to empty string and see what happens as soon as I press enter or press update button you will see that the entire page has gone in just few moments I showed you how you can wipe out the entire HTML page. Now, if suppose it was a page where we were able to insert data to a database. So when, if I inserted this, uh, this thing to database, what would happen is whenever somebody came to your page, the entire page would, would have been hidden and the user would, would not be able to see anything. So this, this is the kind of dangerous attack you can perform with this X, XSS, um, XSS vulnerability. Now I can show you more about how cyber criminals can exploit website in later videos, but if you are just testing for vulnerabilities, an alert is really all you need most of the time. So from here, what you really need is just to be creative and explorer. So you can find more vulnerabilities and explore more and go to other websites. But do note that you should try hacking websites of which you have permission. Like if you don't have permission for some website, indeed, if you get caught, you can get thrown in jail for that. So you can go to any website and you can find out where you can insert username or status update there. And there you can always find a chance of finding an XSS vulnerability. So it's worth a shot of checking it out. Of, of course, there are websites that have been protected against the XSS. There are some built-in uh, frameworks that comes with built-in uh, built functions that restrict the XSS vulnerability. But despite this, and despite the framework being around for several years, the number of XSS vulnerabilities are getting higher and higher. And it's because writing secure and resilient code can be quite tricky at some time. And with a lot of automation, you can still screw things up pretty badly. Trust me, I have done it more than once and I will do it again. I can promise that. My point here is that you should always be aware, you should always be curious, and you should always be creative. 
anyway i will end this video right over here there is nothing more to show like i can show you some other hacking techniques or how the criminals can get into a website in later videos but this is it for this video if this video get a lot of likes indeed i will create another video on xss maybe i will create a video on how you can restrict this cross-site scripting vulnerability happening to your website and how to how you can make your website secure if you're curious about that so if you if so if you are curious just smash that like button to let the youtube know that you like this video and to help other people like you they are in need of finding out what a cross-site scripting vulnerability is you can also share the video comment down comment down something if you didn't understood and this is pretty much it peace out